go to our man, Mr. Tim Ord. Now, Tim, folks, is going to be doing a great workshop for us. He's going to be doing a couple of workshops. Uh, the first one is going to be coming this Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. That's going to be on the S&P 500. The second one is going to be on June 15th from 4 to 6 also. And in, inside of those two hours, folks, are going to get a great hour and a half of education, a half hour of asking Tim questions, because the bottom line, here are some great indicators, um, indicators that, that you can put on your charts, but the bottom line, these are indicators that, you know, bottom line folks uh, just are not attuned to. That, that's what it really comes down to, as to looking at the market at lows and at looking at highs. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, glad to have, glad to be on again. So, uh, totally. So, uh, hey, let I me am. ask you something, right? So, so, so Friday, Last Friday, that was quite a day, right? Yeah, we broke out. Uh, my opinion, you know, we, we showed that that weekly SPX to VIX ratio. Yes. And it, it was making higher highs, for, and it leads the S&Ps. So it was predicting that the S&P should break above that, you know, four, I think it's 415 area right. on the SPYs. And, it, you know, went sideways all through April. Uh, and May, and finally we broke out above that area. So that 415, 417 on the SPY should now be support. So right, and that's um, what you're like, looking for. You're looking for that sign of strength. Not going to be May go away type thing. So if, if May's up, a lot of times that kind of carries through the summer. So yes, we'll have to wait and see. Yes. So, so you know, the we talked quite a bit, Tim, about the aspect of you know what happens at at when you use your indicators looking at panic lows and lows, right? And, right. you know, so, the, the, you know, like, I, I'm looking at the market today, and it's like I, I can understand why the market's just going sideways. It's down a little because the amount of strength that it took on Friday, right? You know, I mean, it had the Dow up 700 points. Everything was up, like, dramatically. What, what right. is, like, the, between the tick and the trend, what do you look for when you are approaching highs? The highs actually, um, uh, a 10 day average of the uh, trend around 0.8, you got to really be careful. As a matter of fact, when we, if we start re approaching that level, I'll start showing that uh, indicator, okay. um, you know, on, on our shows and stuff like that. Right yes. now, we're, we're 109. Okay. And uh, usually, a uh, 10 day average around 120, you're usually looking at lows. Ideally, you know, major lows, you that get up around 1.5. Uh, so, but, you know, if we kind of an uptrending market, it usually stays above one. Okay. And so we got like 109, that, that means we can still go higher. Uh, but we start getting down when everybody gets exuberant. You know, that trend is the uh, uh, up, uh, well, yeah, the definition of a trend of T-R-I-N is the uh, advancing issues over declining issues divided by uh, advancing volume over declining volume. You know, if you do the numbers, when all this, all the volume starts going into the up stocks, that trend starts to drop down below one. Right. And the more right. uh, stocks that are going up with higher volume, the more dangerous that trend becomes. And when you get a 10-day average around 1.8, you got quite a bit of exuberance going in the market. And so it's an area where things don't last for long and right. things can get ugly fairly fast. So, yeah. You know, it's interesting uh, what you brought up last week is that, that, you know, we were talking about the aspect that, you know, you were coming into a panic low a few months ago, like just today right. on that little downdraft that we got, Tim, right? We got a downdraft, a uh, down tick of minus 1295. So yeah. it's yeah. like, you yeah. know, and t what Tim was talking about folks is that, Every just little pullback at all, it almost seems like people are panicking. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, you know, that's not the end of the world, man. You know, you, you just came down 10 S&P points. But I thought that was kind of intriguing, right? Do you know what I mean? Because, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, well you know, actually, Joe Granville had it back. You know, he's uh, he, he's not a manner, but he was kind of the, oh, uh, him and that, um, I can't think of his name. You know, Joe Granville, he always called. You want you want to have a, a wall of worry, right? Uh, when the market's going up, right? And you didn't really quite understand how to define exactly what indicator is a wall of worry. Uh, yes. So I kind of always fo followed him. So if the market's going up, people are worried about the market for some whatever reason. You know, the debt ceiling or interest rates are too high or too yes. low or something. There's always a hook in the market 
uh, that people worry about, they're afraid to buy because it's a wall of worry. And those are the type of markets you want to buy. Right. And let's get back to that trend thing. So you, as the market's going up, the trend kind of stays relatively high above one. It's usually, you know, people are kind of worried. But when everybody's convinced that, yeah, this market's going to go through the ceiling, that's when the trend drops below 0.8, and that's when you get these highs. So Yes. Uh, but the wall of worry is, is kind of a key here. And, and there's really no, you know, from the stuff I'm looking at, there's really nobody really bullish here. So No, I, mean, I, I listen, I can see it. They're not scared, I, but they're not bullish either. So. You know, I mean, the, the, you know, like, let's say six, eight weeks ago, even when you're coming on saying, hey, man, this thing wants to go higher, I remember everyone in the traders down and saying, oh, my God, you know, like, you know, a lot of us were bearish, me in particular, right? And then I said, well, I got a feeling this thing's going to go higher now. And it's, it's hard to wrap your head around it because there are so many things out there and because we've gone so high. But guess what? It is what it is, man. Do you know what I mean? So it's Yeah, like, it, it is what it is. It's, it, it takes you a while to, to, you know, figure out what kind of a, you know, the, the fear gauge works well. The trend works well. The ticks work well. Yeah. And that really gives down to what the market really thinks, what's going on, what people think. And I do look at sentiment indicators, too, when everybody's kind of lean and bullish. i got about five pretty good ones that have worked, have stood the test of time, I guess you might say. And, yes. And when everybody kind of chugs in, I look at the um, – Oh, individual investors, uh, right. the money managers, and I, actually, I look at the put call ratios, equity put call ratios. Yeah, you know, whatever. If people are buying, and leaning on the put side, that's usually a good sign. The public's pretty bearish. Right. Uh, so, and and all those things come at low. So, you know, if you're scared to buy, it's usually you're probably going to make that's the money. That's good. No, I'm if, with if you, you're man. not scared to I'm buy, you. you know, you may be doing something wrong. So. Yeah. So. No, I can see that. Well, listen, yeah. folks. Okay, you know, Tim is an amazing technician. You're going to have not only a blast, you're going to learn a huge amount about how the market moves. And people will be asking you later, like, how do you know that? Okay, that's the bottom line. So come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see them right on the front page under featured content. You can, you know, go to both workshops. You can go to one workshop. Just hit that banner. It's going to be from 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, this coming uh, Thursday, man. Well, listen, it's always okay. a pleasure, Tim. You know, you have a great, a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to speaking to you and look for the workshop in a big way. All right. Thanks, Tim. Talk to you soon. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.